Today we are going to be introducing what I like to call the around command. And this is just where we have our dogs go around something like a cone. You can use a tree. I like to start with a cone because it's easy to guide the dog around it. Just like anything that we're doing, first we want to make sure we can get the dog to do the behavior with the physical cue. This is incredibly easy. All we do, as long as you have the food lure down, we take the food, we guide them around, and then we reward them on the other side. It's good to do both directions. I dropped a piece that he was trying to look for that. Right here, buddy, you can have it. And then we're gonna go back again. And you can do one direction or you can do both directions. I like to do both, but I do always have a favorite when, which ends up being going around on the right side for me. Once I get the dog understanding this, I like to create little drills and exercises that I can do with the dog. So one that I've been working on with him is I have him go around the cone. Now, if you watch the other videos in the series, you'll know how to do the spin as well as guiding your dog into the heel position. So I guide them around the cone, then I catch them, I do one spin, and then I flip them into the heel position. It's a fun movement, and it really builds up your dog's athletic abilities. And as I said before, we're training athletes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the hand for the side we want the dog to be. So I want the dog to come on my left heel position. So I'm gonna guide Maverick around the cone, and then I catch him with a spin, and then into the heel position. And when he sits nicely, I give him the food and then he's released. I'm not using any commands right now. And if I want to do the right side, I'm going to guide with the right hand. And then, oops, I messed that up. I'll just go right back into the left heel position. And once we give the dog the food, we're going to release them. So let me try again on the right side. Right side's my weak side. So I have him come around. I do the spin and then right again into the heel position. That one was a little sloppy. It's not always going to be perfect. Good boy. And once they start to understand it, then I like to do it as if we're doing it for speed or we're creating a race with the game. I can give the dog the command. I'm gonna race the dog to the cone, Maverick here. Once he goes around the cone, I'm gonna guide him into the spin again and then right back into the heel position. So again, if you want your dog on the right side, you're gonna use your right hand to guide your dog for the spin. If you want your dog on the left side, you're going to use your left hand to guide your dog into the spin position that's gonna lead into the heel position. And this is a really fun exercise. I'm gonna show you how it looks with my dog, Ari. We've been practicing it and the dogs really enjoy it. And remember, dog training is supposed to be fun. So I have the food in my hand. And when you reward your dog, you can give them more than one piece. A common thing that a lot of people do is they'll give their dog one piece and if the dog realizes that they're always going to get just one piece of food, they'll check out more quickly, especially if you're training a puppy. So I like to give them a few pieces of food when I reward them from each hand so they expect more and they keep more focus on us, which is a really great way to train. And then we can do more exercises and reward them with a bigger reward at the end. All right, so we're gonna get him ready. Are you ready, Maverick? Around. And then I guide him around, good! And then we do the spin, and then right into the heel position. Nice job, buddy. And again, since he went around the cone, I do what's known as the implied stay, meaning if I tell a dog sit or down or something like that and they go into the position, the stay is implied. But we don't do something like an around stay or a spin stay. So I can say around and I don't have to release him because there's no need since he can't continue to do that. All right, so we're gonna do another one. So you can see, I'm gonna try to do the right side around. So I'm gonna guide him around this way. Good, catch him for the spin and then right back into the heel. And if we need to straighten him out, we can straighten him out, give him the food. Nice work, buddy. And let's do one more. I prefer the left side, it's my strong side, but you definitely wanna work both sides. And notice I give the command before I present the physical cue. A common mistake people make is they'll go around, they're saying it as they're moving. This is known as overshadowing. If two things are presented to a dog at the exact same time, whatever is more relevant to the dog is what they're going to focus on and they will completely ignore the other element. So we wanna make sure we say it around and then we race them. Good boy, and we're gonna throw that spin in there. Very nice. That one was a little sloppy, but that's okay. And again, this is a fun exercise. I like to throw this into my training routine when I'm doing other exercises, sit down, climb, all the stuff that we worked on in the previous lessons, we include that in our sessions when we're working with our dog. And then we can throw something like this fun into the routine. And as I said before, dog training is supposed to be fun. Let me show you what it looks like when we do this with an older dog that has more athletic abilities than a puppy that's still learning these 
sort of physical movements that we want them to be able to do very well when they get older. So I'm gonna get Ari out right now. Are you ready, Ari? Around. Spin. Heel. Three. Not as fast as I would like, so let's try it again. Are you ready, Ari? Around. Good girl. Ah. Good. That one wasn't perfect either. Let's try one more time. Are you ready? <laughs> Sit. Oh. Oh. Good girl. Very nice. Good job. Around. Good. Spin. Good. So you can see she's starting to pick up some momentum. And you can also see she's having a good time. That's the main thing that we wanna do when we're training our dogs. I know everybody wants their dog to listen and be obedient, but we also want it to be fun for them. So we're gonna do everything we can to increase the enjoyment that our dogs experience while we're training them. And this is a great way to do that. So give it a shot. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Woo!